Podcasts are hot right now. How do I know? Well, you're listening to one right now, aren't you? But you might be wondering, how on earth do I get my voice out there and start my own podcast? It all seems so intimidating. Between hosting and platforms and monetization, it can get real complicated real quick. Well, I'm going to let you in on a little secret. We started this podcast over two years ago, not knowing clue one on how to do it. So how'd we do it? We did it with Anchor. Anchor is the free podcast app with creation tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer. And Anchor will distribute your podcast for you. So it can be heard on all the platforms like Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and many more. And everybody likes money, right? Well, you can make money from your podcast with no minimum listenership. It's everything you need to make a podcast in one place. So go right now, download the free Anchor app, or go to Anchor FM to get started. It's the E-Commerce Minute, your daily dose of e-commerce, tech, and retail news with your hosts, Bart Moraz and John Suter. The E-Commerce Minute is a production of Sumo Heavy, a digital commerce consulting firm in Brooklyn, New York, and Philadelphia. Find us on the web at sumoheavy.com. This episode of the E-Commerce Minute is brought to you by SendPro Online from Pitney Bowes. With SendPro Online from Pitney Bowes, it's just click, send, and save for as low as $4.99 a month. Send envelopes, flats, and packages right from your desk, and you're back in business in no time. And for being a loyal E-Commerce Minute listener, you'll receive a free 30-day trial to get started and a free 10-pound scale to ensure that you'll never overpay. Save time and money on mailing and shipping with SendPro Online. Starting at $4.99 a month, you can qualify for special USPS rates for letters and priority mail shipping. Calculate exact postage online and print labels right from your PC. So go to pb.com slash minute to access this special offer for a free 30-day trial plus a free 10-pound scale to get started. That's pb.com slash minute. Experience shipping made simple with a free trial of SendPro Online from Pitney Bowes. It's e-commerce minute episode 568. In today's episode, Pinterest new shop to look ads can feature multiple products in a single ad. Pinterest is continually updating its platform to provide the newest and most innovative ways for customers to use it. Over the past few years, it seems like Pinterest finds a new way to change how we use the app. This time, they're rolling out a new way to shop. Pinterest recently announced their Shop the Look ads are in a new collections format for mobile. These revamped ads allow retailers to feature multiple products in one ad. Pinterest said that it's the easiest way for retailers to feature multiple products in a single ad so pinners can discover great products in the context of a pin's image and then click through to check out on the retailer's site. Advertisers can tag up to 25 items in an ad. With the new format, shoppers can see a preview showcase of four items and can click through to see more, giving them a fresh new way to interact with the brand's products. But Pinterest didn't stop there. They're also debuting a new, more dynamic business profile that brings businesses' pins and products front and center. A new dedicated shop tab allows users to shop directly from the profile and drive directly to the retailer's site without any third-party clutter in between. Businesses can also customize their profile cover with video or images to more effectively highlight the brand and what they offer. Pinterest is also expanding its catalog features to select partners starting in France, Germany, Spain, and Italy. They're bringing shopping ads to these countries so retailers can automatically create Pinterest ads from an existing product catalog at scale. Now, businesses in other countries can seamlessly turn their product feed into actionable Pinterest ads. Shop the Look is an organic shopping feature and is currently available to select partners in international markets, including the UK, Brazil, Germany, France, and Japan. Why no U.S.? <laughs> Why no U.S.? <laughs> so, as we see, Pinterest is becoming a shopping site. Yeah, they are. About time. Uh, yeah, I think it's a natural transition for Pinterest. I think it makes complete sense. I mean, it's kind of a kept an obvious thing here, but, um, I like, I like where they're going. I really like where they're going because they're very, one thing that's always been great about Pinterest is the UI and UX. They're very careful with that. Um, many will say it's not like the ye olden days. It's gotten a little cluttered, but how else do you expect them to make money? You have, you've got to put ads in there. You got to monetize this somehow, but I like the shopping components. I like what they're doing for advertisers. And I think it's going to get to a point where it's going to be a no brainer for any e-commerce business. If they're not on Shopify, they're shooting themselves in the foot. I just like that Pinterest isn't like just staying content with their, with their experience. Like, you know, they added those uh, mental health, features recently too yeah yeah and more video again if you're a hardcore pinterest person you may say oh that's detracting from the overall thing i want to look yeah but that was stagnant for a long time sure and you know what else i feel like pinterest is one of the very few sites that actually appreciates their content creators like and want to make things better for them 
I totally like, agree with that. Unlike YouTube. <clears throat> like YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I see, here's the problem with the one problem I have with Pinterest. I am definitely a, a person who goes to Pinterest looking for visual inspiration, being a designer, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, the problem is if you click on something by accident, you get an email the next day and it's like, no, I didn't really want to look at this this summer outfit. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> summer outfits today. It happens yeah, to the and best of us. They, and then they just, they, they flood your feed and it's like, but um, like I'm looking at my feed now, I'm seeing a lot of lettering, concert posters, recipes, and for some reason, um, a lot of fashion stuff, but I don't really look at fashion on Pinterest. So I don't know why why that pops up. Probably because of like your Forever Twenty One research or whatever, or know, my maybe. lady friend on Pinterest. And as Bart has always said, it's not it's not spying on you. It just knows your IP address. So maybe it's going by IP. <laughs> maybe the lady friend's been doing a little Pinteresting, and I didn't know yeah. about it. And you know what? Good for her. <laughs> it's always it's always fun when uh, the youngsters here in the office start browsing things, and you're like, "Come on!" <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> You just I see Harry mean, Styles pictures right, come up I, on your again, again. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I don't know what Harry Styles is. And then, the, and then, and your wife questions. You're like, um, <laughs> I can really? explain. <laughs> really? <laughs> again, I, what I really like about Pinterest is the way they can identify things. It's like I collect a lot of pins for just inspiration for you know things, illustration projects I'm doing or whatever. And it really, really nails down. Like if I find a certain style that I like, it'll say, here's 50 more concert posters that are exact same style. And that's what really draws you in and keeps you engaged because it's, it keeps spoon feeding you exactly what you want, which could be dangerous if you're trying to cut down on your social media. But, right. um, you know, I, I, th- I yeah. think they're, they're the one social network that's probably doing it right. Yeah, I was just about to say their algorithms are like actually like – correct whereas instagram like like on my explore feed back in the day i would for example i'll use harry styles as an example i would like a picture of harry styles and that's what come up in my explore feed which would make sense you know what i mean but now it's like all these influencers that i want nothing to do with i don't follow like any influencers on instagram i never like influencers pictures but it's all just like these random people in my explore feed now and i'm like this is not the content that i am here for instagram yeah, I'm having a little problem with Instagram lately. The ads are becoming more and more. I mean, it's like every three pictures is an ad, and it's all the same kind of like CRAP, like bad chargers and it's tape that, you know, oh, look at this tape. You can stick it. And it's all this fast motion video of a guy using this tape and he's sticking the brick on a wall with a piece yeah. of tape. I'm like, I don't care. The other problem I have is Instagram's like, even their regular feed is starting to be really, really strange. Yeah. Because I just happened to open my phone while we're recording this. And Brittany, look. Oh. Both of our, both of us, I have both stories, 560 and 565 in the Instagram feed back to back. Yeah, I've seen that a lot too. It's happening, right? Like it's it's paying attention to what you're looking at and it's going to show you all that. But I think there, it's, it's starting to get strange. Yeah, like you'll see, you'll go on Instagram, you know, say you go on Instagram eight o'clock at night, then you get up the next morning and you look at it. You'll not only see a repeat of a post, but then- the person that you were looking at, there are other posts underneath it all clustered together, which yeah, they're starting to cluster, is, which is weird. Is not what I liked in, liked about Instagram back in ye olden days, where it's like discovery. It's like, oh, what happened now? And it's in chronological. You can't do chronological things anymore unless you do it no. in a carousel. You know, it's it doesn't work anymore. It's a shame. Right, you can't put it in. You can't actually change it. It's like Twitter when they instituted the whole top things and you got to switch it to with the recent ones linkedin does that too yeah. um i want i and i understand the top because people just have too many i like to have whatever the most recent thing is yeah is that's all i want to see i want to see what uh, what people are up to you know yeah mm-hmm. and all of them do it by the way facebook does it too so it's it's really really crazy it's hard being nosy today <laughs> <laughs> Or stalkerish. Yeah, it's hard. It's it's hard to be a stalker these days. It's not fair. Wait, she's in the coffee shop fair. now. Oh, it was two days ago. Damn, Damn it! Just let me stalk in peace, Instagram. So rude. 
All right, Brittany, why don't you tell us about today's sponsor? Shipping and mailing from your desk has never been simpler than with SendPro Online from Pitney Bowes. With SendPro Online from Pitney Bowes, it's just click, send, and save for as low as $4.99 a month. Send envelopes, flats, and packages right from your desk, and you're back to business in no time. And for being a loyal e-commerce minute listener, you'll receive a free 30-day trial to get started and a free 10-pound scale to ensure that you never overpay. So save time and money on mailing and shipping with SendPro Online. Starting at $4.99 a month, you can also qualify for special USPS rates for letters and priority mail shipping, calculate exact postage online, and print labels and stamps right from your PC. So go to pb.com slash minute to access this special offer for a free 30-day trial plus a free 10-pound scale to get started. That's pb.com slash minute. Experience shipping made simple with a free trial of SendPro Online from Pitney Bowes. Oh, sorry. I was watching a video about how to carve a pineapple. Oh, important. Um, <laughs> relevant content. I'll do a quick stat time. According to a study by C-Space, 80% of pinners start with visual search when shopping. 61% of consumers use visual search to elevate their experience while in-store browsing. That's according to C-Space. And Oracle Cloud data surveys real out. Revealed that Pinterest users spend 29% more while shopping than non-users, according to VentureBeat. Pinterest reports that 90% of weekly users turn to use weekly users turn to the platform to make purchasing decisions. 55% look specifically for products, and 78% say content from brands on Pinterest is useful. There's some great stats there uh, from VentureBeat. And finally, betting brand Buffy found that 20% of Pinterest users who ended up making a purchase do so within a day of clicking on an ad, while 80% do so within 30 days. So basically, they click on an ad, and then I guess they marinated on it for a month. <laughs> Pastry users. Just, just think about it. Order their finances. Uh, well, no, I mean, I think that's pretty interesting in that if they – and they're making a purchase. Do it as so clicking on the ad. They only do it. Only twenty percent do a, do a do a impulse purchase. Eighty percent do it within thirty days. So what is happening in that thirty days? It's probably more close to like one to five days, and they just said thirty days for yeah, like a blanket. You're probably right, because you know? thirty thirty seems like a long time. Mm -hmm. And that's according to Retail Dot. You guys got anything else? Nope. Mm, nope. All right, that's your e-commerce minute for today. I'll see you on the internet tomorrow. <laughs> That's it for today's show. If you like the show, do us a favor and subscribe or leave us a review on iTunes. And don't forget, you can now listen to the e-commerce minute on your Amazon device. Just add e-commerce minute to your flash briefing. And finally, if you have a comment or suggestion or just want to say hi, find us on social media at Sumo Heavy. <laughs>